And Eliza, who's shown all facets tonight, including the ability to play any two, will be first to speak. Cool. And a little bit of a limp in. Nice. Raise. 400. Pass. Are you feeling like Chris Newman's getting a little bit desperate Pass. here, Simon? Raise the... F oh, he's got the ace-king. Yeah, I think uh, Chris is going to make a stand here if anybody raises him. Pass. Cool. Eliza says she'll just okay. take the flop, yep. and if a king comes, it'll be disastrous for Eliza. But if a jack hits the board, she might get all Chris's chips. Two players. <laughs> well, we're back to who bets first. Check. 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 Wow. Chris backing off. There's almost a thousand pounds in this pot. Check, 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 check. Ace King holding up at this stage. Is she gonna win it? She is. Two hundred. That's not enough. How much we got there? It's the pot. Please. How much is in the pot? There's no way Chris is gonna pass for two hundred. It's nine hundred fifty. Yeah. Chris has nine hundred fifty left. He can invest the two hundred. He on, will. Excellent call there by Chris. It's, high. it's a shame, Eliza's, but that's one of the first mistakes Eliza's made. She, she did the right thing. She waited till the river to bet, but she didn't bet enough. If she bet half the pot, she'd have won it. So Eliza bluffed, but the bluff was not enough. And that is the first big pot Chris Newman has won. He's won it on ace high, Simon. Yeah, made a good call. I've been playing poker online for about four years. Uh, more recently, I've started to play a regular live home game every week. We've actually set aside a room of our house to play poker. We did this to, to meet new people. My partner and I are very keen on poker. Uh, we visit La Las Vegas about twice a year. Uh, I love playing poker in the tournament format. Uh, we're not too keen on the cash games, but it's poker as a sport that we enjoy. Five seated around this late night poker ace table. Only one going through to the final. Second place, of course, with a second chance at the semis. But Chris Newman would rather win this outright. Right to 200. Raised 200. And uh, it was Darren Carmen who said Pass. double the bet. King high. Yeah, Darren clearly is trying to dominate this table now. Cool. cool. Pass. That might be what's on... Dan's mind. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Jesse. He's on the button. Uh, if, if Darren checks and he thinks he's missed, he can try and bet and pick the flop up. Two players. Dan is a computer student. And uh, can he compute that he's got the best hand right now? Darren representing the ace for 300. This is make or break for Dan Hart here, Simon. Come on, Dan. You can't always have a nice. Take your glasses off. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Always fast. Dan Hart has thought better of it, did not like the ace, and big bluff by Darren Carmen, who Simon has shown that he doesn't need something on the flop to bet out. No. It took that through uh, guts alone. Fifty pounds on Eliza. She also lived in Spain for a while. Cool. Student of Spanish history. Pass. And, uh, she must know Pass. about the Spanish Armada. Cool. Good, good poker playing fleet there. Yep. Three players. Well, we're three way Check. here. 300 pounds Check. in the pot. Now, yeah. how much is she going to bet this time? 200. John Blackhurst has three nines. Eliza may think she's ahead with the ace, but is, is John oh. playing the trapper here? Certainly is. Pass. That's okay. And this will be interesting. Eliza's going to be in trouble if an ace comes. Two players. Oh, wow. John's got a full house. Check. Check. Eliza Burnett is drawing dead here. Check. And she put on the brakes. 
Well done there. Yeah. She's probably a bit lucky that the last card wasn't a heart. Yeah. She might have decided to come out and represent the flush with the bear race. But uh, John's not going to get any more here. Pass. That was a good fight. John Blackhurst gave Eliza every chance to bluff. She slowed down. John will take that with a full house that has not been shown. And uh, Blackhurst from Weston Supermare. This is the first time he has ever played live poker. But, uh, well, his moves have not been suspect yet. Watching poker on the telly, I've learned that there's a, a lot of uh, bluffing involved. Um, I play an awful lot of limit poker, uh, where mechanics are more important than, uh, than other skills. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if I can adapt today. John Blackhurst still riding high at the top of the leaderboard with Darren Carmen in hot pursuit. Dan Hart like Humpty Dumpty, the short stack with just 1,075. Chips moving around the table. Chris Newman in the big blind, giving a hard stare over to Darren, saying, don't raise my blind. Pass. And with a pocket Pass. pair, Darren Call. just limping in, Call. giving the free flop to Chris. And Eliza called as well. Three players. And this time, Eliza's hit the flop. First top pair she's hitting oh so long. Check, check, check. Oh, I like this. One fifty. One fifty. Cool. Cool. Darren betting enough so he can get Pass. away from if he gets raised, I guess. Thank you. Eliza just calling. And Darren looking for the six. King's beaten sixes at this stage. Two players. Check. Well, I say, uh, Darren's going to think that's a good card for him Three because if Eliza hasn't got a king, he's going to think sixes and fives are winning. Looking at the percentages there, Eliza, 95% favorite in this hand. But oh. the bet was on her. She's tossed it, Simon. Yeah. Worried about her kicker. She shouldn't have worried about her kicker. Darren, every time he's had a hand, he's raised. This is the first time he's limped in, so uh, she's let uh, she's let an opportunity sit there. She should have raised him back. Uh, she's going to be thinking about that hand for a while. Oops, Dan Hart, the big blind, and Eliza, the luxury lifestyle magazine writer, does not Pass. have much room to maneuver. She may have started telling herself, <laughs> "Tighten up." Price. 400 in total. Two Race of snowmen. And, uh, it's nearly three times the big blind. 400 straight. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Look yeah. at this. The perfect position Ow. to pick up aces. Race to 1,000. All the king's men from John Blackhurst. Pass. It's 600 more. And Darren Carmen on the edge of the cliff. Well, this is the two chip leaders. So uh, the way Darren's been playing, I wouldn't be surprised to see him fold here. Could see him call, fold, or re-raise. Curse just wants all the chips in the center. He's got two aces. Trying to sit there like a statue. Doesn't want to give anything away. Send the spider to the fly. Darren's thinking, I can win this. I don't 